Hey guys, MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of my Roma career mode on FIFA 14 Next Gen. And we are in the brand new season. Hurrah! If you missed the last episode, it was the end episode where we played against the likes of Juventus, which was an absolutely huge game. We looked at some stats. We looked at, you know, all the players that are coming back and gone out. Morata's gone. Totti's retired. And now it's time to organise the team, organise all those loans that have come back and um, potentially buy some players. I don't know if I'm actually going to need too many now that I've got so many of my youngsters or my loaned out players back. Um, in other good news, Pjanic has said he's definitely staying, so I, I've kept one of my best players there. Um, but definitely what I will be doing in this you know, opening transfer window of this season is bringing in a striker because obviously uh, marata has gone and uh, Totti has unfortunately retired. So let's go through my emails here. My squad monthly reports. We've got two players that are still in my uh, my youth squad here. Um, I don't think this Grio guy is going to be good enough. It's just uh, my my thoughts there. Between 67 and 75, no, um, I'm going to release him. But this Kreko guy here, or Kreko, um, I will keep hold of him. He might he might be decent. We'll, we'll soon find out. So we have two arrivals. As you guys will remember, I bought two players on pre-contracts. That was Matuidi. And Grenier. I'm probably saying his name wrong though. But let's go ahead and take a look at this team now. Um, obviously Strootman is out for eight weeks. He got injured while playing for Holland. Which was bullshit. There is Grenier. Look at that. 82 overall. Now I did say that his stamina isn't the best. But I tell you what. 63. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, what I like about this guy is his on the ball stats. I mean take a look at these stats. 91 long passing. I mean, I, I mean it's not the best stat to have. But tell you what, it's pretty decent. He's only 23, so he's got way more time to grow to his full potential there. And uh, he's, he's just he's going to be a good player. Let's have a look at Matuidi, 82 rated as well. Um, he's going to be playing kind of like for Strootman, I guess, while he's injured. Um, but really, he's a backup CDM central midfielder. He could even play as a cam if I really wanted him to. Uh, but look at those stats. Great stamina. I love, I love midfielders with good stamina. That makes a lot of difference when it comes to a lot of fixtures, being able to rotate players. And especially when you've got a CDM with loads of stamina who have, you know, high attacking, high defensive work rates, it is definitely what you need. In terms of his tackling, it's not as good as I thought, actually. 84 standing and 83 sliding. I thought it'd be a little bit higher than that, but that's okay. He's 27. He's pretty much reaching his full potential, but he was free. That's the important things. Uh, important thing, guys. He was absolutely free. And um, we're going to look at Viviani. This is the guy I really wants to get back. Four-star weak foot. Wow, that's pretty decent. He's got 78 stamina, which isn't too bad. This is the guy that was out on loan last season. He's basically a balanced player, good at everything. I mean, some stats not too great at. His finishing is pretty poor there, and his marking. Uh, who else we got here? This was the left midfielder I think I was talking about. Yeah, there you go. Look at those stats. He's definitely going to be a rotational player, especially if uh, Dravinio or Caprari aren't playing. He's going to be bursting down those wings. Unfortunately, though, he only has three-star skills, which is a shame. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to go through these players and take a look, um, see what's going on here, see who I want to you know loan out again potentially, who I'll be using, and uh, I'll get back to you in just a minute. Before I go though, Romagnoli is someone I decided to loan out. He's barely grown at all, which is really disappointing. I don't know if you know guys, but in FIFA 13, he was one of the highest you know growing potential players in centre back, one of the best young players in the game, and uh, in this one apparently not. So I've organised the team guys, but I need your help. I have a dilemma. Um, basically, this team is what I want to use. This this is the first team. Um, I'm, I'm having thoughts about Javini. I'm not too sure if I want to keep him. I'll, I'll stick with him for now. Maybe you could leave comments about him, whether he should be in the first team or not. Um, more the problem is on the bench. You see, I've got two CMs and a Cam, right? That's absolutely fine, right? But that means Matuidi doesn't have a place in the subs. And he's 82 overall, so I'm thinking... Do I get rid of Bradley or do I get rid of Dos Santos? So I want you to leave a comment. Who should I replace for Matuidi? Bradley or Dos Santos? I'm happy with Torado, uh, Torosidis there and Yedvaj as well. Although he's having a bit of bad form now. I need to get him back up a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to have to get another centre-back. Because I've only got very young ones on the bench. Um, I'm going to sell at least two of my left-backs. I mean, I've got so many. Why, why would I need four left-backs? It's absolutely crazy. I'll keep Dodo for sure. And I'll probably keep um, Jose Angel there, or Angel. Um, and I'll sell Frascatore, that's a weird name, and Crescenzi. Um, it's a difficult one. 
because Viviani I'd like to play a lot as well. Basically, guys, I've got a very good team. A lot of players that um, can come into the team if, if I need so. And unfortunately, guys, the player that I signed from my youth squad is pretty bad. I mean, look at that. Low attacking, low defensive. He's only 5'7", and he's got pretty woeful stats. It's a real shame, but uh, maybe I'll loan him out. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go through some other emails first, because I had quite a few. I'm glad about those two signings coming in, though. It could be good. Um, they want us to win what? Win the Champions League. That is ridiculous. I can't believe that. I was expecting quarterfinals. So they genuinely think I can win the, the Champions League with that team. That's just stupid. Transfer market's open, of course. Um, they want me to win the Domestic Cup. And we have £23.5 million to spend with 110000 on the wages. It's not the best transfer budget, but it should be just enough. Got two transfer offers here. One is for Mycon, who is obviously 32 years old. He's not in my plans whatsoever. I'm not going to be using him. Um, they've offered 1.1, and when I say they, I mean Atletico Madrid. Um, when he's worth 1.3, do I just take the money and leave it? How much wage will I get? Wow, look at that. That's the difference, guys. I will not use him. It's as simple as that. I'm sure he would still be a decent player, even at 32, but I will not be using him. So um, I'm not going to play around with this. I don't want them to, to back out of the deal. I will take 1.1. There's no point getting 200,000 extra. It's not a big difference. Uh, Ruffier, there's no way I'll be selling him. He's actually happy. He's in good form. And, um, well, he, I think he got better towards the end of the season. I don't know about you guys. I didn't concede as many. Uh, Juventus doesn't count. So uh, what I thought I'd do now is show you guys my shortlist. Now, I spent ages on this. I've even gone on Twitter. I've done research of, you know, realistic signings, rumoured signings. And I've compiled a list. I think it's 15 players or something. All players that are linked or, you know, players that I wouldn't mind bringing in. And all are pretty realistic according to you guys on Twitter and stuff. If you're not following me on Twitter, I'd really advise it because uh, you can actually help me produce these, these videos, guys. It's pretty awesome. And um, yeah, link in the description if you do want to follow me. So in terms of defenders, we've got a story. Musashio, Heitingo, who's been linked strongly actually um, with Roma. And uh, Matip, who is just a guy that I've been looking at. Um, could be decent. We've got also Matic there from uh, Benfica. He apparently could be the replacement for De Rossi. We have Nani as a right midfielder. We have Guarin, who I think has one of the highest total stats in this game, which is pretty awesome. And if you look at those stats, the only thing he's crap at is marking. Everything else he's pretty damn good at. Same with Kabai, although he is he's, he's kind of getting old. I don't want to call him old because he's only 28, but um, I, I wouldn't mind getting someone a bit younger. But he's there because that's a realistic signing, and it's a rumoured signing as well. Anderson from Manchester United, eh, not too sure about this guy. I mean, when you look at his uh, his attributes, you can see he's very good movement-wise, and he's actually pretty decent on the ball, apparently, which is obviously bullshit. Um, but unfortunately, he is injury-prone, so I'm not too sure about that. We have Carlos Vela, we have Adrian, Adrian, I suck at doing pronunciations. Uh, we also have Chikorito. We have Jeco, who obviously I tried to get last season but failed, um, and Diego Costa. Um, so really guys, again, I want your feedback. What should I be doing this season? Um, in terms of defenders, I, I do want to get one in and strikers I want to get one in. So if you want to, if you want me to buy anyone else here, say you want me to get Matic to replace De Rossi, um, then leave a comment below. Let me know because um, this is your series as well as it is mine. So um, in terms of defense, I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do. I want to inquire Matic. Um, apparently, I oh, he's fit in seven weeks. That sucks. I can't assign to him. Um, Heitinger, he's 30 years old. I think that would be a pretty poor decision. So, um, although he might be going in real life, there's no way I'm going to buy him. So, he can go. Masaccio or a story? Hmm. I like a story. I think he's decent. He's six foot two. He's got perfect work rates for a centre back. And uh, Castan, he does get tired. He doesn't have the best stamina. This a story guy could walk straight into the first team, no problem, and provide backup. So I think Astori is the guy I'm going to inquire. Um, Masaccio, I'm not sure about this guy. I, I've heard good things about him. He has a good potential and all, but he's six foot. Where would I play him? I'm looking for more of a left-sided because I've got Bonatti, obviously, and uh, Cher. So I don't know where Masaccio would, would fit in. So we'll, we'll try Astori first and see what happens with that. Uh, in terms of strikers, I kind of want to go Dzeko again. Um... Hernandez, uh, I don't know about him. 
It's a difficult decision. I think for me it's between Jekko and Costa. Um, so what I'll do is I'll inquire for both and see, you know, which player is more expensive. And I know the answer already. I think I think Costa's going to be worth at least 30 million. So that could be a very very difficult purchase. But um, we'll see. Don't forget to leave comments, guys.